guys wanted a daily vlog. Well, here it is. <laughs> no matter how boring, this is my life. Good morning. I'm back. I haven't vlogged in so long, and I kind of, I missed it. I kind of wanted to do it. It is early in the morning, and I'm on the way to school, and I just um, felt compelled to go pick some buttercups for my mother. There's a patch right down the road from the shop, and here it is. See, I'm over right here. Every day I drive by and think, I wish I had those buttercups. I wish that I could get me some buttercups because I love them so much. And then I started thinking this morning, my mother loves them. Yesterday she brought me some treats to school. That's just what she does. She's always thinking about others, and that is what I aspire to be like as well and I want her to know how much I appreciate her. She is the best mama. Non-judgmental, welcoming, loving. She is the best mama and I want to remind her of that. So here we go. I should tell you that this morning it decided to be freezing cold here in Tennessee. There's a creek. I'm in my dress shoes. Ooh, I love those the best, but they really haven't bloomed yet. Look how pretty that is. Hey, little girl. Gorgeous. I'll be coming back to those. I do. Anytime I've ever gotten flowers in the past, which I adore by the way, um, I save the vase or I will take it back to the flower shop. Um, but I have saved some vases so when I do give flowers to anyone, I have a vase. Or when anyone decides to give flowers to me, hint, hint, I have a vase to put them in. That's not bad. This little guy is too tall. But that's okay. So, I'm freezing cold. Here we go. Look how pretty. Yay, she's going to be so happy. You know what? Marley even came to the high school. You know that. That's my. She follows my car. <laughs> She has loved her over here, though. Look at her. She knows she's not supposed to be up here. Well, Come on. That's her dog. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> Lord. Thank you, Officer Whip. Well. Come on, sister. Let's go back home. Let's go home. Come on. Let's go home. As soon as we got close to the house, she took off in the other direction, and I got out of the car, parked at the house. I'm standing in the front yard, hollering at her like a moron. Marley, Marley, come on, Marley. She just stood there staring at me, and I stood there in the cold with the wind whipping in my face, tears running down my cheeks because of this wind, and she just stood there staring at me. I'm not doing it. She can sit out here in the cold all day. And then I got snot running down my nose. Dogs. Oh, it's been a day. It's four o'clock almost, like 10 till. I had to stay and help a friend to do her late duty. She's paying me. That's the good part about it. And we had a couple of meetings. I will be, instead of going to church tonight, which is what I wanna do, I have to stay and work. I have been able to gather all my things so I can go out to the shop and do all my work because 
Um, you guys are not going to care about this. It's about teaching kindergarten now in our state. We don't take a standardized test, which is good. However, we have to present a portfolio for different children. And what they, the standards that we have to do are just really um, advanced. <clears throat> and we have to prepare for it. On top of that, which we're giving that tomorrow. We're doing part of, we have point A, point B, and we're doing point B tomorrow, and it's the kindergartners are expected to write a topic sentence, um, create at least two details about a book, a familiar book, and then create a conclusion sentence. Kindergarten, yeah. But on top of that, we have a woman from Washington, D.C. coming to watch us teach a program. She, as well as other administrators from other schools, are going to come watch us teach because we're pretty good at what we do. But that's a bunch of stress, and um, that's what I'm going to be preparing for because my classroom is a mess, um, and I have to clean it. So I'm going to work tonight on my detail charts and to prepare for tomorrow's point B, and then in the morning I'm going to go really early so I can clean up my classroom and get it presentable. I mean... I'm not going to do any changes. I'm just going to throw away some things that need to be thrown away and, you know, clean up a mess the kid made, the kids made today that I have not did not have a chance to clean up. It's a lot. All right, off to the shop. papers, laptop, manual, and supplies, and then I forgot something, so that's what I'll be doing for the next several hours. See you guys later. Hi! Have you been a good boy today? Yes, you have. I'm just gonna always be sweet boy. Playing with dad all day long. I've been playing with dad all day long. Yes. Good, good, good. I am at a stopping point. Here is my key details chart. The children are going to have to write. Homes in America have changed over time. Please ignore my handwriting. It was not easy to write like this. Long ago they had oil lamps and now they have electricity. Long ago they had ice boxes and now they have refrigerators. There's my version of a burning stove and an electric stove. Outhouses versus toilets or bathrooms. And then tubs and big bathtubs or washboards washing machines. I'm not an artiste, but the kids think I'm awesome. That's why I teach kindergarten. Okay, I am at a stopping point, like I said before, and I'm starving to death because kindergarten teachers eat lunch at 11 o'clock, and so by 5 o'clock, I'm famished every single day. He wants chicken nuggets, so um, I'm running to the store to buy some, and I'm probably going to get some now I'm gonna get it's gonna be good I'm gonna get some chicken breast fillets and make me some um, good homemade chicken strips and you can watch me do that it's really easy and I'm sure every one of you can do it and probably do in your own home but I have found that well I'll tell you when I'm at, whenever I cook so I'm gonna get some of that for him some chicken strips for me and make a good salad. Oh my gosh, I could die for a salad. And macaroni and cheese. No, I had some of that for lunch. French fries and chicken strips are a good combination. So that's what I'm gonna make for supper and I'm on the way to the grocery to get it. I hadn't bought a magazine in two years. And after all that, well I didn't even tell you the part of it, I went in there, they're out, I think I told you that, they were out of Tyson, which is the kind that he likes, they're out of Tyson chicken nuggets, um, I waited, I asked, she went back, looked in all the freezers, no, they're out, they won't have any until tomorrow, okay, so I went to check out, there was a problem with the register, no big deal, I'm not a person that fusses about things like that, life is too short to be complaining all the time. And people don't like to be around folks like that either, FYI. So I thought, okay, I'll just go to Dollar General after I leave here. 
I loaded the car, got in the car, and guess what I did? Drove home. <sighs> now I will complain to myself about myself. I will do that. So I drove home, and now I gotta drive back. I got in the house, put all the stuff up, and was like, crap, I don't have his chicken nuggets. So here I go. Here I go again on my own. Yeah. You know I had to sing it. You did. And I'm on the way to Dollar General. Okay, finally back home. You probably were not gonna be able to even see me because of this terrible lighting, but the point is not to see me, it's to see what I'm cooking, right? So, they didn't have the kind of um, chicken nuggets that he likes either. But we're just going to try this other brand and I'm going to make me some homemade chicken strips. i got to bring everything over here to show you. Alright, I have the heat. Uh, I have the oil heating up for the french fries and for his chicken nuggets. Mine are... You take some boneless, skinless, and they're not the kind you usually have. Our grocery store pretty much sucks, by the way. They never have anything. Our Dollar General has nothing. And, so I'm, and that's really what I usually get. It is a long bowl. So I'm going to cut these into strips. I might cut them into nuggets. That sound is going to drive me nuts. I know it's going to drive you nuts too. And in two different bowls, you do egg, a couple of eggs, and some French's crispy fried onions. They are so good on everything. Hush, Marley. I don't have my bag, so I'm just going to do two eggs. Marley, hush. Whisk, whisk up the eggs. Cool. And you take these French fried onions, crispy fried onions, and you crush them. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Mmm. Mmm. They're good enough to eat by themselves. Crush them up. Because they're going to be the, the bread. The breading. For my chicken strips. Good. Okay, I'm going to show them to you. Here we have the breading for the French's onions. And here we have the egg. I'm gonna batter, that's what it is, batter, not breading. I'm so crazy sometimes. I'm gonna batter this in the egg, then wrap it up in the onion, and then put them on a baking sheet. You bake these at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. I'm gonna get them started before I start frying his chicken nuggets and our french fries. And then after I bake them for 25 minutes, then I serve it with ranch dressing. Oh, I'm sure some people would like ketchup. It is so good. I haven't had it in a very long time either. And I bet you he's gonna try one too because he's pretty adventurous when it comes to food. We'll try just about anything. Now, he's real predictable about, about what he wants, but he'll try anything. Okay, that's enough. I'll show you his. Those are his. Okay, it is 640 and our supper is done. He is a, coming from the shop right now. Let me show you what it looks like. It looks pretty dang good, even though it's just real simple. His favorites plus my favorite. Salad, his chicken strip, I mean his chicken nuggets, our favorite french fries, and then here are the chicken strips that are battered in egg and french onion uh, 
French's fried onion. They are yummy. Once again, you bake at 400 for 20 minutes and they are done and crispy and deep. Like a much prettier plate than just the normal chicken nuggets or chicken strips. I'm trying to get high so you can't see the light behind me. Please forgive me in this lighting. I don't have anything to say to it except for, I'm sorry. When he's on his way, so when he gets here, we're gonna eat, go back out to the shop, videos, uh, make a video for him. And then I have to go to my classroom and work or come back here and do some laundry and do domestic things until I go to bed at nine o'clock because I have an early morning in the morning. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And as always, I appreciate you so much. I love you. Bye.